not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge sanctioned by the U.S. government. Weapons of class 4 and lower have been authorized for use during the purge. All other weapons are restricted. Government officials of ranking 10 have been granted immunity from the purge and shall not be harmed. Commencing at the siren, any and all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 continuous hours. Police, fire, and emergency medical services will be unavailable until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. when the purge concludes. Blessed be our new founding fathers and America, a nation reborn. May God be with you all. girlfriend here and basically we're going to do today is the first um, purge review so there will probably be spoilers if you haven't watched it and because I'm here today because I treated him yesterday I thought I'd tell you guys and show you guys with him show them what anything well, not anything but anything see that's right on Okay, what was your thoughts about the movie? Well, the movie was a bit boring. But, well, in the middle it was a bit boring. But in, in, in the beginning, you get a little, you know, jump scare. And then, um, at the end, yeah, it's good. Is that it? Uh -huh. Well, I enjoyed it, and even though I hate the purge that much. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What's your gum? Chewing. I enjoyed it. Uh, it was gory as shit. It was... I kind of jumped a little bit with the jump scares, and I don't remember a jump scare at the beginning. That was a jump scare. When? When that man who was sitting there... In front of what Skeletor? Yeah. The guy I'm gonna put on the screen. He was scary. He's the scariest one. If you see him, he's the scariest actor in there. He's crazy as shit. He's a cracker. Crazy. Basically, he's a cracker. He's like. Why are you walking back and forth? I have no idea. And now you're just looking at me. But I would recommend you seeing it. I recommend it. If you love horror films. Just don't look on Rotten Tomato because I've seen the reviews on that and it's 53%. <laughs> if you don't believe me, I'll put it up on the screen right now. What? I have no idea. What was your best part of the movie? Well, my best part of the movie is where the big, and near, it's near at the end, basically they all got in the closet and the female and the male, I've got the names, I'm bad names. Again, I'll put their names and pictures on the screen. Yeah, because I'm really bad at names. But the female and the male were the two good actors that I really liked the most and near the end they saved everybody not everybody but some people from the church and they saved two everyone else is no, dead they four saved five, two four or five they didn't they saved two in the closet there's that um okay there's three people but the two people that mainly survived was the mum and the daughter and also i didn't know also i didn't know um one of the actors there 
were actually from the producers of EastEnders. The actors from EastEnders. I didn't know, I found out last night. And also, he's from Bromley. But Ali will put his name in his picture. Yeah. What was the worst bit? The worst bit is... This is a Q&A for her, screw it. <laughs> okay, Q&A, okay then. The worst bit was where I didn't know the actual brother of the female um, actually went in to... Purge. Uh, yeah, into the purge himself. Well, experiment. To experiment all. But everybody was actually getting on him, which was fine, really confusing because they're all purging and he's purging and everyone's just getting on him. So that's the one I hate. Wait, what do you mean by getting on him? Like when he went inside of the. Um, you mean getting to kill him? Yeah. Why didn't you just say that? Not getting on him. That's what I mean. Because in my head, it'll feel like they're trying to physically get on top of him. And they were really, they were, um, wearing cool eye contacts as well. Which are cameras but glow up in the dark, which looks so epic. And if I can, I'll find a picture or a clip of that. I doubt it, but I'll try. We literally sat in the Impact Cinema, and it was like the big, massive screen, and big sounds as well. So, it kind of hurt our ears and eyes blinded us nearly where near the end there was like flashing bits like for the past fire, two minutes the alarm yeah when the alarm went off in the house so it was like past two minutes the flash went on and it was like oh my eyes every time it comes on i blink yeah if you see the purge there's a blinding warning <laughs> you will be blind after watching it ow there's something else i was going to say i forgot what the hell i was going to say how did you feel when these crew got killed? Upset. Because I really liked them. I really liked these um, crew. Dimitri, I think. What? Dimitri's the girl. No, it's not. It's Naya. That I remember. The rest of them, I don't remember the names. The one wearing the false eyelashes with the female that was the main female. The sister. Yeah. Naya. Naya. Whatever. The... I didn't really like that purge. I like the purge where it's the candy shop one. So election year. The election year. That's a really good purge. But apparently, the one we watched recently, yesterday, last night, is meant to be really, really gory. Violent. It really was on the staircase. Meant to be really he violent. sliced them soldiers' necks open. Like, it's meant to be proper, like, more violent than the other purges. Which I kind of agree. Purge 1 was kind of shit. Yeah. If you watch Purge 1, you and know. It's kind of like shit. It's all based in one house. If I could give that a rating, I'll probably give it... 1. 1 to 10. I was just going to say 48. Because I enjoyed it. Because it's the first Purge released but yeah Do you remember the second part yes since you keep saying candy shop all I keep seeing is them girls coming out the car <laughs> that wanting candy yeah which for some reason you say you're one of the girls reminds you of Charlie Matt's girlfriend <laughs> one of them does don't ask and I know Matt's gonna bitch about me saying that, but it's her fault she's saying it. Well. Did you just go like that to the camera? Yeah, peace. Okay, she's Trump. <laughs> Build a wall. I don't know what I'm doing. So the next film we wanted to see is. Tag. Tag. Oh, I want to see Slender it. Slender Man, because that was showed. And the one with Dwayne Johnson. I forgot what that's called. Um, skyscraper. Yeah, skyscraper. That looks really good. And I'll put all 
three of them films, logos, and posters so, on here. Sc skyscraper, I can't even say the word. Um, with Dwayne, jo Dwayne Johnson, Slender Rock. Man, which I didn't really believe at first that Slender Man movie was actually going to come out. I didn't believe it's it. It's been rumoured for years that it would. I know, but I didn't believe it. Also, if you do watch the first purge, if you do watch it, not actual There's the actual... first purge, the purge that says the first purge, mm. which is the stupid. actual fit. Um, what is it? One of the movies has been shown on there. The new has, Halloween. Yeah, the new Halloween. Because the the boy, the boy's bedroom, I think. Yes. Had a Halloween poster, the new one that's going to come out. Do you want me to had explain it more clearly? Yeah, okay. you can explain. It. When you if or when you watch the new purge. And keep an eye in the background of what's his name? Let's call him Kid One because I can't remember. Kids One Room, and you'll see the brand new Halloween poster, which I will put up on the screen between me and her. So here, and that is the the new poster for the new Halloween in October. And did my light to flick? Yeah. Okay. I heard my, my my Facebook message and it like just flipped. So we're talking about the first purge and kind of weird stuff is happening in the room. No, it happened before. Comment below if you want to see haunted stuff. With us. Mm. I did have a channel, guys, but I don't know what happened. I think it was on my last phone that I had. So I had to get that, get rid of it. So comment below if you think I should make a YouTube account on my iPad, myself, and also put him in it as well. So comment below if you think I should make a YouTube and be like him. Do it daily. I I'd, do. Reviews. I've tried to do daily. It's hard work. And to do some reviews. Or reactions. <laughs> in a reaction cam, which I might do in a minute. I don't know. So, so well, the easy. first purge was. It wasn't me. It's not me to say amazing because it wasn't amazing. It's not good, good, good. So, to my offense, I'll I will rate it probably. Um. Probably. 50-50 or something like that. I would say 1 out of 10. Or 1 out of 10, I would say like... 8 and a half, 10. It's not that... It's not that amazing sight to see. But it is really, really gory. If you hate gore, I tend you not to watch it. Because it's really proper... Like... <gasps> gasp. Gory. No? I've just never heard anyone describe gory as <gasps> before. <laughs> okay. Wait, we said 1 out of 10, didn't we? I'll give it a 9. I'm not being racist, but how come now, the th now this purge is based on... Mm -mm. What? Then. I'm not trying to sound racist, but all the other two purges were based on white people. Why is this one based on like a black gang and stuff? And you noticed? Mm-hmm. Again, I'm not trying to sound racist. It's just how come the other two purges started off with the first one was actually a full all white cast. There's no like black people in that. Was there? Oh yeah, the funniest, let's get to the funniest part of the movie. The funniest part was, they had all a party. All. Oh yeah, a street party. A street party. No, it was actually called the purge party. Purge party, whatever. I think they were all unpurges, they were like... No, they were taking the opportunity for the purge to have a massive purge party. And then until Skeletor killed a, a woman and a guy, stabbed them so many times that everyone just screamed and ran for their life. 
and they were never seen again. He's, he was thinking to stab a girl in a fucking butt. Because so many girls were twerking in the, thing, in the film. And he was like, he had these sort of needles on his, um, three on his hands. He had three syringes on his knuckles, which kind of reminded me of Scarecrow from Batman. The game. Sorry, this is all spoilers. Yeah. So, I tend to... I already said spoilers. It was in the intro. Comment below if you like my new the intro I just done for this. I don't know what else I can do with it, but this is the intro I used was just specially for the purge. And I just realized we've gone over 14 minutes. That's the quickest 14 minutes of my life. See, when we're talking, time flies. No, when you have fun, time flies. Even when you're talking, time flies. You don't, you don't, like, you talk so fast. Alright. Well, I recommend you do see it. And, yeah, the reviews I've seen are good and kind of mixed with bad. And I'll find the, the like, tag of reviews of what I found and I'll post it on the screen. And for the trailers we saw, I post them in the description, and I so tell you lot to go see them. And also comment below if you think I should do YouTube. Comment below if you think she shouldn't. Don't be, don't be that. Anyway, like and comment, and please don't forget to subscribe. And she... if you don't subscribe to him. There'll be trouble. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, I, okay, I'm... <laughs> I wouldn't take it as a threat. This is really stupid. It's really stupid of me, don't, don't worry. Yeah, okay, anyway. I'm Annie Scholes, and Annie Scholes is out. <laughs>